Hey ladies, I just want to take a few minutes to encourage you when it comes to the to the um, topic of your thoughts. So many times we get up in the mornings and our thoughts begin to dictate our day, the way we look at ourselves, the way we look at God, and the way we look at the people that surround us, including the things that God has called us to do within our dreams and our passions. And every time that I go back to scripture, I'm reminded that I have to guard my heart. And when I'm guarding my heart, then it's easier to guard my thoughts. And in Philippians, it talks about thinking about things that are pure and lovely, to think on these things. So the things that come into our, into our ears on a daily basis, maybe that's your friendship group. If you're walking away feeling, feeling just feelings of emotions of negativity and impure thoughts, then that friendship group probably needs to change. If you're not being in God's word, Every day I talk to ladies and they say, I'm not in the word. That's their only way to counteract Satan's lies. He's going to throw missiles of discouragement at us in every area of our life, every area of our lives. And until we're in that place of standing behind his truth, then we're not going to be able to fight a battle. We're not going to be able to fight it. Jesus says to stand still, I'm going to fight this battle for you, but he uses his word to fight it for us. So make sure you're protecting your thoughts. What are you watching? What are you listening to? Who surrounds you? Because when you're walking in the promises of who God has called you to be, then no, no thought from the enemy is going to be able to, to, to dictate your steps and the way that you're going to go and the direction that you're going to end up going. So I want to encourage you with that today. Stay true to who you are, who God's called you to be. Don't be who anybody, wants you, who anybody else wants you to be. Just simply be you today.